Thanksgiving week tradition. We've been doing it for a number of years and we'll continue to do it as long as the God blesses, blesses us to do it. This morning, the Pensacola Police Department met at Apple Market to deliver meals to 30 families in the city. Each corner of the, of the city, we picked a family. Um, we picked families um, that we have interacted with throughout time, families that we know that uh, would benefit from these particular meals. Chief Eric Randall and close to 25 officers went from door to door dropping off meals. Get over like two times and making memories with families. Uh, to see that young young man come come running out the house and run to that police car was just amazing. It was just amazing. It, it, it brought tears to my eyes. The same goes for the families. The last couple of years have been challenging. Um, I have had a, a really, really tough ordeal the past couple of past year. Um, ever since Hurricane Sally, my, my home was destroyed. But Jennifer Rudolph says today's visit was a step in the right direction. For them to come in and give back because it's been really hard to make ends meet and to, to get that special blessing, it was really, really um, it was a good pick me up. It makes people feel a lot better when you have people in your corner. Today's event was a real community effort. Mana Food Bank and local families also pitched in to make this Thanksgiving special for those in need. Just watching something so little make their day like so much better, it's just, it's just a really good feeling. Thanksgiving is still a couple of days away, but everyone agrees today is a day they'll remember for quite some time. It really warmed my heart today. I'm really ecstatic about it. Um, we've been talking about it at work, and they was like, Jennifer, Jennifer, I'm so excited for you. And that's what it's all about. It's about service. Service to your community, service to others. And, that, and that's the example, the shining example of the, the police department and community working together. In Pensacola, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.